welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity x to the m minus 1 over 1 plus x to the n dx well how to begin okay first I am going to take this integral is equal to i and then we can write i is equal to integral from 0 to infinity uh, here x to the m minus 1 over 1 plus now uh, I'm going to write this is equal to x to the m raised to the n over m power and here we know dx now I'm going to take a substitution so if we take u is equal to x to the m now differentiate so du is equal to m times x to the m minus 1 dx okay now uh, we can plug in here so now limit we know also 0 to infinity and here x to the m minus 1 uh, x to the m minus 1 times dx we know du over m so here 1 over m and here du over now 1 plus here x to the m we know u so u to the n over m power okay now uh, to evaluate this integral now i am going to take another substitution so if we take u to the n over m is equal to tan square of theta then we can isolate the u so u is equal to tan raised to the 2m over n power of power n theta and now differentiate so du is equal to 2m over n times tan to the 2m over n minus 1 of theta now according to chain rule derivative of tan we know secant square of theta d theta okay then we can plug in here so we can write now this is equal to here 1 over m integral from 0 to infinity now du du is equal to 2m over n so here 2m over n is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and here we have tan to the 2m over n minus 1 of theta uh, secant square of theta here 1 plus uh, u to the n of, so you know tan square of theta here d theta now we know tan uh, 1 plus tan square of theta is equal to secant square of theta then secant square of theta get cancelled and here also m get get cancelled and here now we will have 2 over n integral from 0 to infinity tan raised to the 2 m over n minus 1 of theta d theta okay now we know uh, tan of theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta so we can write 2 over n integral from 0 to infinity uh, sine to the 2m over n minus 1 of theta mm, and cosine to the 1 minus 2m over n of theta d theta okay then uh, we know beta function so 2 times integral from 0 to uh, here I did a mistake uh, because here uh, after this substitution we know uh, now limit is 0 to uh, pi over 2 sorry 0 to pi over 2 and here also 0 to pi over now we know beta function 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine to the 2a minus 1 of x cosine to the 2b minus 1 of x dx is equal to beta of a b ok now we know we can compare uh, this beta function and this integral so we can write now this is equal to 2 over n beta of uh, m over n comma 
1 minus m over n okay now uh, we know we can write beta function uh, by using gamma function so we know the formula uh, beta of mn is equal to gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so we can write now uh, this is equal to um, 2 over n gamma of m over n gamma of 1 minus m over n over gamma of m over n plus 1 minus m over n m over n get cancelled and gamma of 1 gamma of 1 we know is equal to 1 okay now we know Euler's reflection formula uh, gamma of c gamma of 1 minus c is equal to pi over sine of pi c okay now we can plug in here so here now hmm, uh, here also I, <laughs> I did a mistake again because here two times so here these two get cancelled so 1 o n 1 o n okay now uh, we have we know this is equal to 1 over n pi over sine of pi m over n okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching